Robo Papa. Okay, guys. So here's the um, development board that I created uh, for a future project that actually um, I will upload on YouTube uh, very soon. Um, what I had to do is actually had to um, take the Arduino itself and just have the chip, it, um, the 80 mega into the project without all this um, board um, I didn't need all the components like the USB and and the uh, power jack and all that so I decided to create a, a development board where I can flush the 80 mega and then take that chip out into the project that I need so here it is and I'll go through the components that way you can create it by yourself um, as well um, so we'll start with the power jack where you can actually run and give power to the Adreno um, I have 5 volt regulator over here with a capacitor a Temacrofera capacitor that way it will be less noisy I have an LED to indicate that the power is going through a reset button with the resistor on it then I have a uh, 8 pin if I want to do the um, 80 tiny um, and the 28 pin for the 80 mega and then I just created some uh, pins out that way I can test um, that the flashing is correct and these two pins are for the crystal that you will need for the 80 mega uh, the crystal is that way um, you can have the oscillation within the chip itself even though the 80 mega has its own um, it's always good to put one uh, the crystal itself is connected to uh, two capacitors um, that way it will be like better um, I have the reset button that it's connected like I said to the resistor which is a pull-up resistor so the 80 mega as well as the 80 tiny uh, the reset is um, pull out like basically the reset is on high and when you want to activate it you need to press the button which then will take it to low um, if I flip the board you can see that here is the power and I have a common ground going over here that way I can run it the power goes into the 5 volt regulator and I have the resistor for the LED light over here and the pinouts of the regulator so we have the ground the input and then the output over here and then I push the ground to here to this pin right over here and then the output the output itself by taking it to the um, resistor itself for the pull-up resistor as well as the power uh, for the 80 mega um, connectors uh, we have over here the um, the reset button the reset pin for the 80 tiny as well as the reset pin for the 80 mega um, it's fairly simple um, you're probably noticing that there's no um, FTDI and the reason is that we can actually use another Arduino to flush this um, Arduino all you need to do is um, take pins 13, 12, 11 and 10 let me try to focus it over here um, and that's connecting to the same equivalent pins on the the new chip that you will need for some reason it doesn't want to zoom in so there you go nope so you will need to trust me because <laughs> it's not zooming in correctly so you have pin 13 that will go to pin 13 on the board over here which is this one then you have pin 12 which will go to pin 12 over here and then pin 11 that goes to pin 11 here and then the reset button will go to the first pin here as the reset button as the reset uh, pin and then all you need to do is if you're powering this board from an outside source you will just need to connect the ground from this Arduino to this 
um, chip otherwise the ID will tell you that it's not recognizing it if you're powering it from the Arduino itself all you need to do is connect the 5 volts from here and the ground to the 5 volts and ground over here um, and then you'll be able to flush it um, the other the other thing that you will need to do is with the IDE first you will need to flush this Arduino as a programmer um, and I'll show it to you when we get to the to the code to try and flash an LED over here on pin number 10. So let's go to the computer and we'll see how that, all of that works. Okay, here we are on the, um, the computer and I have the Arduino IDE started. In order for us to flash the Arduino itself um, as a programmer, all we need to do is to click File and then Example and Arduino ISP. We'll select that one and it will open a new window which is basically programming your Arduino as ISP. Uh, you can go through the comments over here that explains what it is but it's, it's essentially just telling the Arduino that now you will need to use it or you can use it as a programmer. So we will select the port um, which is COM3 in my computer. Your computer might have a different one. And the Arduino Uno. And then we'll flash it. And it's compiling, it's uploading, and done uploading. So at this point, your Arduino is actually is a programmer, or you can run it as a programmer. Um, if I'll take the blink light and I'll flush it regularly, then it will override this sketch and it will no longer be a programmer. So let's take the, um, the example of the blink LED and we'll go through this one to actually flush the Arduino on the Arduino chip on the development board. So we will change couple of things over here. Um, let's declare like an LED pin and we'll say that it's pin um, 10 and that way we can change this one just to LED pin and you can put any pin that is you want depending on how you develop it. Um, if you expose all the pins that's great. I didn't feel like exposing all the pins so um, I'm going to be with pin 10. Um, one thing after this, we will, it's just a simple LED uh, that's going to blink for one second and then delay for one second. So I turn on the light for one second and then turn off the light for one second. And then we'll have an interval of two seconds for the blink, on and off, on and off. The one thing that we will need to do when we're ready to actually flash this into our uh, chip, you will need to hold your shift key if you look over here, I can do upload without the shift key, but as soon as I click the shift key, it will say upload using programmer. Um, one thing we will need to do over here before we do that is we will need to change the programmer to be Arduino as ISP. Arduino ISP over here, that's when we're flashing the Arduino to be an ISP. And then in here, we're choosing the programmer as Arduino as ISP versus the AVR ISP MK2. So now we can connect all the pins from the Arduino to the board, as you can see in the image below or on the side um, where it's connected. Um, now we can actually flash um, the chip using the Arduino. So as you can see from the video on the left, connected pin 13 to pin 13 on the chip and 12 to pin 12 on the chip and pin 11 to pin 11 on the chip and then pin 10 from the Arduino goes to the reset pin on the chip itself. I connected the Arduino to a USB and then the 5 volt and ground from the Arduino to the chip itself so it's giving it power. On the uh, pref board I have an LED that connects the, to the ground with a wire that connects to the chip's ground 
and then a 330 ohm resistor from the positive um, from the LED to pin um, 10. And now we will try to flush the, the program. And if everything goes correctly, um, it will say that it's successful. So you can see how the RXTX was actually flashing and now it's done uploading and therefore the, the blink is going on and off every second. Now if we remove the reset button for example um, or even the pin, um, one of the pins, um, let's say pin 11 and we'll try to upload that, it should fail because it will not be able to read what is the new chip as you can see invalid uh, device signature. If you see something like that, make sure that your uh, positive terminals and your ground are connected correctly and you have a closed circuit um, and that your pins are going to the right um, pins on the chip. Once again, Arduino chip 13, 12, and 11 goes to your chip that you want to program 13, 12, and 11. And then Arduino uh, pin number 10 goes to your reset one. So that's it for uh, today, guys. Uh, I'll use this actually board for um, the next episode where I'm going to build like a security box for my daughter. Um, she requested one and I thought it would be a cool uh, project to have. So don't forget to like the video and subscribe that way you can get notification for um, coming up uh, videos. Thanks, guys.